Hello there, this is Bick Benedict. We're playing Dead Space on the PC on Impossible Difficulty, and this is my no damage run for the aforementioned title. And we have a large scale fight in the atrium, so what you want to do is um, stasis one of those three enemies. Just bear in mind how quickly they drop out of the, 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 uh, the ceiling vents, and you can conserve ammo by uh, stasising them, waiting for others to, to get close to them, and using the grenade, uh, hitting that grenade. You could actually sever uh, their hand from the grenade and, and fling the grenade if you want to, but I just don't care to do it. It's I just don't find it very fun or effective because it's kind of difficult to gauge where it's going to land, and there's always a threat of it not um, getting thrown very far by you and exploding nearby you. It probably wouldn't damage you, even on this difficulty, but still. Anyway, a pretty pretty intense encounter because we'll have some slashers coming down here to greet you. And did I mention I picked I, I picked the four the um, I picked the contact beam back up again. Uh, did that hit him? Maybe a little bit. I picked the contact beam up again because I've upgraded the line gun and my my plasma cutter, my stasis. I haven't upgraded the kinesis. Sometimes it is helpful to upgrade it a little bit if you want. It's more of a luxury type of a thing. It's not anything that's going to help you out instrumentally. But I figured that since I'm only on chapter 8 with everything upgraded, I should collect nodes for some purpose, so I decided to, to to rebuy the contact beam. So I decided to make a break for it over here and just go out and see who's dropping in where. And it's pretty frightening, to be honest, because you know anything will hit you. But normally if, if these leapers are next to you, they do that overhead tail slash, which um, you just back off and avoid it in there. They're kind of slow to recover out of it. So, we fought leapers in this room before, and you can go in, into the room uh, that, um, let's see, where are the rooms in this? I think they locked the room from which you come, so there is that hole in the wall. You can go in there where the bench is. So right here I'm just circulating, trying to find these guys, or more, or more accurately, making them find me. I think this was the only guy here, but normally there are at least two in my, in my experience. Oh, this was a, a great fight. I, I love these fights. You have the pair of the guardians on the wall. Make sure you don't go too far to the left and, and uh, up because you'll aggro the one that's in that location. And it's it's great because like in a lesser game, they would have the the enemy on the wall who's called the guardian. They would have him throwing shit at you. But in this game, you know, he he does regenerate those tentacles pretty quickly, so you've got to get on them. But it's it's such a fair fight. Everything is so balanced in this game. I mean, it, it feels like they give the player, I think, too many items. I you know, I feel a little bit. I I always end up with having too much. Maybe that's just because I played it so many times. I mean, it wasn't like that when I was playing these games originally. I could barely beat them. Getting a little clipping on the wall right there, that's always unfortunate, but usually how that works. So, if he tosses any pods nearby you, just back off because he's never a threat. I mean, if you approach him, he'll behead you. That's the only thing, but why would you want to do that anyway? It's suicide. That's it, and then we'll have this fight here. I hate the dividers. They're just, they're a nuisance, they're tedious to kill when you delim de them and they're the most boring enemy in this game for me so here's me having the contact beam again uh, no hypocrisy involved there I just wanted something to apply nodes to and uh, feel free to pick and choose whatever weapons you want to the pulse rifle is pretty decent even though I think I was disparaging it before it's not that bad and it's fun to just, just it's fun to save your progress and just spend all your money at the store and then and, and, and just experiment with them with the items and see what their secondary charges are and, and what they are like when they're fully upgraded and you don't have to save your progress obviously 
So that's a pretty shitty fight. I always hate those fights. And the contact beam at this point is just really weak. So the the blast that it does on the ground is just not very effective on these enemies. So the next fight uh three leapers I think here. Two or three. This is one of those chapters that just doesn't have many encounters and they're they're spread out pretty pretty far from one another. So if you'll permit me to take a sip of tea, get going here, my stomach ailments. I just have a sensitive stomach. I don't know. Very sensitive. So like I mentioned before, I'm trying to drink this ginger tea that was recommended to me by my doctor. And it tastes really good too. So I apologize that these videos are, are kind of short. But if you've just if you just did a guide for this game like I did, you you wouldn't want to do the same exact thing that I that I that you just did, would you? So I'm trying to just make it a little a lot more concise. So Okay, the next encounter. Oh, sometimes you can pick up. You, see, if you can't pick up the main enemy, they're not dead. But you can actually pick up their limbs. I mean, that's kind of what Dead Space 2 did a lot better than this game as far as developing the melee and throwing things back and having the damage value um, upgradable. Um, and the reason I'm not playing Dead Space 2 is because I, I've already played it way too much. I played it on hardcore. And I just wanted to do a no damage run, and I don't think I would like doing number two. And something about me just much prefers this game. So we're coming up on the last few encounters here. We'll have the foreshadowing of this enemy via the, um, the scraps that we just fought before. And it's just a shitty enemy. And the last fight that's coming up with the pregnant can be spawned really early on. I was experimenting with some of the weapons and I was spawning him really early, like halfway through the level. Usually they they kind of they kind of prevent that stuff from happening by not having the enemy spawn. But a lot of the times you can spawn them early. But since it would be out of sequence, I, I don't like to do it in, in a walkthrough like this. So here's your last last uh, enemy to take care of before chapter 9 then I will see you in chapter 9 so take care and thank you for watching my guide and I hope that it's helping you